The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 12. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on November 24th, 1972, in Hyderabad, India. Nasang Nasang Nemi Janadiva Nachaiva Nabhavishyama Sarvi Bayam Ataparam Krishna is giving more enlightenment on the uh, living entity soul. Never was there a time when I did not exist, nor you, nor all these kings, nor in the future shall any of us cease to be. Now, Krishna says that in the past I existed, so also you. And so also all the soldiers and the kings who have assembled in this fighting, they existed in the past. For the present there is no question of asking, we are existing. And in the future also it is not that we shall not exist, that means we shall exist. Uh, so what is I, you? Another. I am individual person, you are individual person, and all others, they are also, each and every one of them, individual person. So, in the past we are all individuals, at present we are all individuals, and in the future also, we shall remain individual. So where there is question of merging, become one. Here Krishna says that in the past we are individual persons, in the present we are all individual persons. And in future also we shall remain individual. So the Mahavadi theory that impersonal, how it stands. Neither God is impersonal, nor the living entities are impersonal. Every one of us, person. Uh, the difference between the Supreme Person and our personality is that He is all-powerful, we are limited. Our power is limited. Everything our limit. Anu Prabhu. He is great, we are small. He is infinite, we are infinite similar. Very small. Otherwise, in other other qualities we are one. There is no difference. Satchidananda Vigraha, in eternity. Uh, in blissfulness and in knowledge, everything is there. But Krishna's knowledge and our knowledge differ. Just like Krishna says, Imam vivasati yugaṁ praktavān ahama bhayam, I spoke this yoga system, Bhagavad-gītā, Long, long ago, to the sun god, Vibhashan Manobe Praha, and the sun god explained it to his son Manu. And Manu, again, in his turn, he explained to his son Ikhaku. In this way, this knowledge of Bhagavad Gita is coming by the disciplic succession. So Krishna says, I spoke, so it is millions and millions 
at least four hundred thousand millions of times, millions of years ago, according to the calculation of Monu. Uh, so Krishna said millions and millions of years ago, this Bhagavad Gita, uh, he remembers. But Arjun inquired from him, how can I believe that you spoke this Bhagavad Gita millions and millions of years ago to Sun God because we are contemporary. Krishna and Arjuna, they are of practically of the same age. So Arjuna was calculating as a human being about Krishna. That was his mystery. That was his not mystery. That was his inquiry to clear the mystery of power. <coughs> we mistake Krishna as one of us because Krishna comes down as human being. We, due to our lack of knowledge, poor fund of knowledge, we think Krishna is as good as we are. Uh, but actually it is not. Krishna is God. We are ordinary living entity. His knowledge, His power of remembrance, His power of knowing everything perfectly is different from ours knowing. But unfortunately we think God may be little greater than me. That is that doctor frog pleasure. We have explained several times. Kupa Mandukanna, the frog within the well, he is calculating the dimension of Pacific Ocean. So by this drug, uh, frog philosophical way, we can we cannot understand what is God. We must receive the knowledge from God Himself or from a person who knows God. Otherwise there is no possibility. Now according to Mahabharata philosophy, they say that there is no duality. It is a kind of illusion that we see difference between God and ourselves. That is Maya. Then uh, Krishna is not advocating here with about the impersonal feature of the Lord. He says, I, he, he is God Himself. He says, I, I was existing as I am existing now. And in future also I shall exist like this. So you are speaking as individual person. So in the past he says that I was individual person, and in the present he is individual person. So why this Mahabharata philosophy? Philosophers do not understand this direct person from the supreme personality of God. Because asuri bhava mahasrita, uh, the Mahabadi philosophers, they do not accept the supremacy of the personality of God. They think God is as good as they are. Therefore they introduce themselves as Narayana. But according to Vaishnava philosophy, Narayan cannot be equal to any one of us. What to speak of us? Narayan cannot be uh, equally estimated even with great demigods like Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva. That is the uh, Vaishnava Puran says, Jastu Narayanam Devam Brahma Rudradi Daivatai. 
समत्तेना विख्येता सा पाषंडी भवे ध्रुवम एनी वन हु कैलकुलेट नारायण द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड इक्वल विथ सच डेमी गॉड नॉट वट टू स्पीक ऑफ ऑर्डिनरी ह्यूमन बींग इवन बिग बिग डेमी गॉड लाइक लॉर्ड शिवा लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा ही इमीजिएटली बिकम्स ए पाषंड एथिस the mahabadi philosophy they put forward this argument that because we are now in maya we are thinking uh, that we are different from god uh, but krishna is making that such differentiation uh, that uh, he is making uh, he is saying you and i and all these so that it mean that krishna is also covered by maya or illusion because he is uh, <coughs> very clearly differentiating between him and the living entities all individual so if the mahavadi philosopher is right that this differentiation is due to our illusion then we have to accept krishna is also in illusion because he is making differentiation so if krishna is in illusion then what is the use of taking his verse uh, because our proposition is that we have to take knowledge from the perfect person so if krishna is in illusion then how he can become perfect person and the knowledge delivered by him is perfect uh, no krishna is not illusion we are in illusion krishna is not illusion krishna cannot be in illusion uh. <coughs> in the vedas in the katha upanishad as well as in the sita satar upanishad it is said that the supreme personality of godhead is the maintainer of innumerable living entities uh, the supreme personality of godhead uh, nitya nityanam chetana chetananam eka bahunam vidhadati kama there is eka and bahu the bahu they are also nitya and chetana that means we living entities we are also chetan and eternal and krishna is also eternal and chetan so so far the uh, living uh, symptoms and the eternity is concerned both the living entities and god krishna they are one but the difference is that eka bahunam vidhati kaman that one uh, that chief one he although he is eternal and uh, living force as we are but he is the chief he maintains all other that is a verse नित्य नित्याना चेतन चेतना एक बहुना जो विदधाति काम आत्मस्थम जे अनुपस्यती धीरा तेम शांति का सती नेतरे दिस इज ए भर्सन फ्रॉम कठोपनिष नित्य नित्याना Uh, he is the supreme eternal among all the other eternal chetana chetanana he is the supreme living force among all other living forces eka bhunam jo vidhati kaman that one singular number eka he is providing maintaining all other living entities 
sam atma sam he is also in everyone's heart ishara sarvabhutanam riddeshe arjuna tishthati ah sam atma sam ja anupasanti bhira anyone who can perceive his presence bhira very highly learned uh, or very gentle bhira uh, bhira means who is not disturbed he is called bhira and there are others who are called adhira adhira means those who are disturbed so those who are in the material world they are always disturbed and those who are on the spiritual platform they are bhira 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 ah uh, about the goshamis it is said krishna kirtana gana nartana paro prema amritam nidhi dhira dhira jana priya upriya karo nirmassaro pujito sri chaitanya kripa bharo bhuvi bhuvo bhara bahantar ko bande roop sanatana rag jugo sri jeev gopal ko ha ka one who is in the transcendental position he is dhira there one uh, poet poet kalidas he has described dhira means uh, even in the presence of provocation one who is not disturbed he is called dhira he has described our lord shiva when lord shiva was being worshiped by parvati ah uh, lord shiva was naked and parvati was worshiping the shivalinga but he did not become agitated therefore kalidas has described dhira ah uh, dhira ah uh, one who is not the first disturbance is sexual disturbance the so anyone Uh, although he is completely potent with all the potencies but still he is not disturbed uh, with sex impulses he is called dhira oh. actually that is called brahmachari uh, brahmachari is not he is important he can marry he can be get children but self restraint he is so self restraint that he is not disturbed unless he deserves that i shall have sex and for begetting children he is not disturbed that is called dhira that is not by seeing any woman or man one is disturbed he is adhira he is adhira so dhira dhira jana priyo priya karo nirmas the both times they were equally respectable for the dhiras and the adhiras so a spiritual master a goshami should be equally merciful both for the dhiras and the adhiras otherwise he cannot become a preacher uh, preacher has to meet so many fallen souls so he if he becomes disturbed uh, then he cannot preach therefore dhira this word is here anupasanti tam atmastham je anupasanti dhira he is called dhira without being dhira he cannot perceive the presence of the supreme personality of god is within your heart because the god is there in parmatma feature uh, but you have to become dhira without being disturbed ah uh, then you can understand here is krishna within man premanyan churita bhakti bilochane na santa sadaiva hridayesu bilokayanti yam shyama sundaram achinta gunas sarupam govinda madi purusam tamang maya this dhira can be possible when we develop love for krishna then we become dhira otherwise it is not possible Otherwise, I will be disturbed. Ah, 
Premanjana Charita Bhakti Bilochana. And how we can see God? Not with these eyes. These eyes, but there must be some ointment. That is called prema. Uh, just like a mother sees his child, although not very beautiful, very beautiful, uh, because he has, she has got love for the child. Others, they are seeing the child not very beautiful. The mother, out of ecstatic love, sees the child very beautiful. Uh, so similarly, unless we have developed our love for Krishna, we cannot uh, see the Supreme Personality of Godhead uh, within our heart, not only within our heart, everywhere. Premanyana charita bhakti bilo chanena santa sadaiva ridayesu bilo payanti yang shama sandaram achinta gunas sarupam Govindamadi Purusam Tamaham Bhajan. The same Vedic truth given to Arjuna is given to all persons in the world who pose themselves as very learned but factually have but a poor fund of knowledge. This is poor fund of knowledge that God and I we one. Now, because we are illusioned, we are thinking that God is different from me, but when the illusion is over, then I and God become one. This is Mahabharata theory, monism. Uh, but actually, this is not clear knowledge. Uh, God, is, God is always distinct from me. He is the Supreme. Uh, it is not that we are equal to God. You are equal to God in quality, not in quantity. Therefore, those who are thinking that they are equal to God in every respect, they are illusion. Maya, Maya Aparita Jnana. They have been called, they have been designated by Krishna as Maya Aparita Jnana. Although they appear to be very learned scholars, but the essence of the knowledge is taken away by Maya. Therefore, they say that God and ordinary human being is the same. Maya Apurita. Asuri, this is called Asuri Bhav. Asuri Bhav means not to accept the supremacy of the Lord, but think Him as one with all individual souls, but that is not the fact. That is a poor fund of knowledge. Uh, actually, when one becomes advanced in knowledge, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, bahunam janmanam ante, in due course of time, after many, many births, when it, he actually comes to the platform of knowledge, he can understand that Vasudev is great and I am small. I am insignificant. Therefore, he surrenders. Vasudeva sarvamiti sa mahatma sudurla bhavnam janmanam ante gyanavan mang prabhadrat. This is the sign of knowledge. When one surrenders to Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, it is to be understood that he has actually attained knowledge. Otherwise, it is ignorant. To think of Krishna, an ordinary person as equal, uh, is not knowledge, it is illusion. Uh, so, anyone who takes shelter of Krishna uh, by the words of Krishna, believing. So, just like Krishna says, Mamikam uh, Saranam Braja. Manmana bhava mad bhakta mad jaji maang namaskuru. Krishna orders that you surrender unto me, you become my devotee, you always think of me, manmana mad bhakta, you become my devotee, mad jaji, you worship me, you offer your obeisances unto me. Uh, 
the persons who are in poor fund of knowledge, uh, they think it is too much. Krishna is demanding too much. It is sophistry. Uh, the, that is not sophistry. That is the real position. Uh, otherwise, without surrendering to Krishna, if you think yourself that you are Krishna, that is in illusion, avishuddha buddha, uh, contaminated intelligence, avishuddha buddha, jenne ravindakha vimukta mani, tai astabhavat avishuddha buddha, uh, because they cannot understand Krishna, so their knowledge is not perfect uh, uh, or not purified. Uh, knowledge perfect is there in every living entity. But it is contaminated by the contact of Maya. Uh, so one who can understand the position of Krishna and himself, he is called Mukta. Uh, Mukta means liberate. Uh, Mukti means uh, to know perfectly what is our relationship with Krishna. That is called Mukti. Uh, the fighting, Arjun was Kshatriya. Uh, it is his duty uh, because uh, here in this material world uh, violence is also required. Violence, because uh, everyone is competitor, everyone is trying to become the supreme. So there will be violence. Just like in your state at the present moment, there is violence because one party is trying to become supreme than the other. That is going on everywhere, all over the world. The struggle for existence, everyone is trying to become supreme than the other. So there must be violence. So expecting that there will be violence, the Kshatriya class requires. Just like in the state, expecting that there will be violence, therefore the police department is maintained. The military department is maintained. So you cannot avoid violence from this material world. It is useless proposal. Our Mahatma Gandhi tried to stop violence. He started the non-violence movement. But factually he had to die by violence. So Kshatriya, they are trained up to violent, to become violent, to stop violence. That is required. Therefore, Krishna advises yeah, the, the, don't try to become non-violent uh, because tasma uh, yuddhasya bharata. Don't think that by killing the body, your grandfather or your nephews and your brother on the other side, they will be finished. No. Uh, they will leave. The body uh, may be destroyed, na hannate hannamane sarire, but actual soul is transmigrated. Uh, according to Vedic philosophy, if a Kshatriya dies in proper fighting, then he is immediately transferred to the heavenly planet. Uh, the heavenly planet, because he sacrifices his body for right cause. Formerly the fight was not a very uh, uh, trifle thing. After much consideration, then fighting or war was declared. Just like the fighting between the Kurus and the Pandavas, uh, first of all there was great endeavor to stop the fight. Uh, Krishna himself became the messenger and was going from this party to another. Because Krishna, both the parties were Krishna's family relatives. 
So he wanted to stop and mitigate the misunderstanding by mutual uh, settlement. But it was not possible. Uh, the Dujadhan's party say that we are not prepared to spare even a small piece of land which can hold the tip of the needle, uh, then it was decided there must be fight. That fighting was meant for the Kshatriyas. Formerly there was no democracy, the so-called democracy. Democracy means that there was one king only, now there are hundreds of kings. Uh, one king and few ministers. Now, one governor, one, uh, uh, I mean to say, three dozen secretaries and three dozen, so many things. So it is overburdened. The tax, tax is overburdened because there are so many officers, they have to be sumptuously paid. So tax is required. Uh, so in this age, Kalijo, by, uh, I mean to say, finishing the monarchical system, the people have accepted the democratic system, but it is not very much improvement because the state expenditure has very much increased and people are very much overburdened with taxes. So Krishna advises that Sasmat Yuddhasya, Sasmat Yuddhasya Bharata. Don't think that your grandfather or the other party relatives, they will be destroyed by fighting. It is not the fact that by destruction of the body the soul is destroyed. Real purpose is Bhagavad Gita that we should understand that the soul is always existing. Even Hanna Hanna Te Hanna Mani Kari. Jayanang Vetti Hantaram Jastainang Manna Te Hatam Ubhautau Na Vijani To Nayang Hanti Na Hanna Te There is another example. Krishna says, because the soul is immortal, eternal. So if somebody kills somebody, the body is destroyed, but the soul is not destroyed. So if one thinks that I have killed him, he is finished, he is also foolish. And one who thinks that if I am dying in the fight, then I will be finished. No. Ubhauta na vijanita. Both of them are ignorant. Ubhauta na vijanita. Nayan hanti na hannati. Uh, the living soul is never killed, neither he can kill others. Uh, uh, for duty's sake, of course, when there is fight, that is called dharma yuddha. Dharma yuddha, by the order of the Supreme, just like Arjuna was fighting, by the order of the Supreme, that is dharma yuddha. If there is no sanction by the dharma, there is shastra, injunction. In this case, fighting should be there. In, ca- in this case, there should be no fighting. So, one who follows the principles of regulation in the Vedas, uh, that is called dharma yuddha. Even there is fight, there is religion, there is part. Uh, even by killing and being killed, two kshatriyas are fighting, either he kills or he is being killed, in both ways, they are promised. Uh, that will be expressed. That's yes, Lord John was advised that, my dear Lord John, why you are hesitating to fight? Both ways you will be benefited. If you can kill your enemies, then you get the kingdom, you enjoy. And if you are killed, then you are promoted to the heavenly planet. So where is your loss? Where is your loss? Uh, this is the instruction given. A Kshatriya who is fighting for the real cause as sanctioned by the Dharma Shastra, uh, 
then both ways he is profited. If he becomes victorious, he is profited. But if he is killed in the battle, he is also profited. Both ways. Jaya nang vetti hantaram jasai nang mannati hatam ubhautau na vijanita nayang hanti na hannati. Then the next verse he clearly explains na jayate mriyate ba tadasi nayang bhutya bhavita ba na bhuya ajo nitya sasato yang purana na hannati hannamani sarire. This soul do not think that soul is born. No. As God is ever existing, the soul is ever existing. It is not. There is no question of birth. And when there is no question of birth, there is no question of death. Because we experience anything, anybody who has taken birth, he dies. Nobody. Ah, we we'll live here. So, if the soul has no birth, there is no question of death. Ah. And as Krishna, God, God is eternal. Addaite achyate anadi ananta rupam adyam purana. Purana means soul. Because Krishna is the original person, that he must be purana, the oldest, older than Brahma. Because Brahma is given birth by Krishna. Therefore, Krishna has been addressed in the Bhagavad Gita as Prapitamaha. Brahma is called Pitamaha, the grandfather. And Prapitamaha means the father of the grandfather. So Krishna has been addressed as Prapitamaha, father of Brahma. Therefore, he is Adi Purusha. Actually, Within this creation, Lord Brahma is the original person because he was first born. There was no other person before him. But there is, he is given birth by Narayana uh, from the abdomen of Narayana in the lotus flower. Therefore, he is the father of Brahma, Prabhupada. So Krishna here says, uh, because uh, that Mahabad philosoph philosophy is also nullified here. Uh, because here it is said, Najayata Najayati Mirateva Kadachi Nayang Bhutya Bhutava na Bhuya. Mahabad philosophy says that the living entity has become separated on account of illusion. Not become separated. He is, there is no separation. But it is illusion. He is thinking, I am different from God. But Krishna says, Mamai vāṅsa jīva bhūta jīva loke sanāta. There are aṅsa, part and parcel of God. He is sanāta. Not that being covered by illusion, he is thinking, I am separate. He is separated always. Sanātana. That is the statement of the Vedas. Separated, although separated, quality one, but that separation, that fragments of Krishna, that is sanātana. It is not that by māyā we are fragmental, separated. When we are liberated, we merge into the uh, body or the fallen samā. We are separated uh, in uh, perpetually. Although we are eternal, but we are perpetually vivinnāṁsa. In the Varaha Purāṇa it is said vivinnāṁsa, separated part and part. So we should understand very clearly that although we are eternal, uh, part and parcel, uh, but we are separated. Uh, separated in this sense that we are, every one of us, an individual, not merged into the existence. Everything is existing uh, in the Bhagavad Gita I find. Masthani sarvabhutani nahang teshu avasthita. 
everything is existing in him, Krishna. But still, Krishna is not the living entity. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Bhakti, if we chant Hare Krishna mantra, then we come to our uh, perfection. At the present moment, we are illusioned. Just like every one of us thinking that I am this body. Otherwise, why there is so much fighting? Everyone is thinking, I am this body. This bodily concept of life is māyā, illusion, or ignorance. So, the whole process is to drive away the ignorance. Drive. That is called jñāna. We are in the ajñāna. Ajñāna timinandhas jñānāñana salākaya cakṣūr militam jena tasmai śrī guravinama. Every one of us is covered by the darkness of ajñāna. What is that ajñāna? I am this body. I am Indian, I am American, I am Andhā, I am Bengali, and this and that. So there is fighting due to the jnana. Ah. So first of all we have to drive away this jnana. Therefore Krishna is uh, teaching Arjuna that you are not this body, <coughs> you are spirit soul. <coughs> this is the first spiritual instruction by the authority to anyone, that you are not this body. So, by chanting Hare Krishna mantra, it is the medicine recommended in this hastra, cheto darpana marjanam, that dust of ignorance is moved. He can understand that I am not this body, I am spirit soul part and parcel of Krishna. My duty is to serve Krishna. In this way he becomes enlightened, graduate. Just like you have dressed now, covered yourself with some type of dress, so if you change your dress, does it mean that you are finished? Try to understand. You are now in my presence dressed in a certain type of covering. Now if you change this covering, does it mean you are finished? Similarly, this body, this material body has been explained as dress. So, if I change my dress, now, suppose I am now human being, and I change my dress to become a demigod, or I change my dress to become a dog, it does not mean that I am finished. I simply change my dress according to my karma. Karmana daivanetrena jantar diha upapati. By your karma, you will have a dress. After death, as it is explained in this verse, na hannate hannamane sarire. The living soul is not destroyed after the destruction of this body. Therefore, he remains and he is finer dress, subtle dress is there, mind, intelligence, and ego. So, according to the composition of his mind, he develops another gross dress. This is the process. <coughs> so, uh, you spirit soul, you are always the same, <coughs> although you are changing dress. Our problem is that 
we are perpetually changing dress, but our desire is to have a permanent life. And that is spiritual education. You can have this permanent life, permanent dress, permanent knowledge, uh, if you become free from this dress-changing problem. That is karmukti. The Krishna consciousness movement is to stop this business of dress change. Yes? Huh? No, no. What is that? Explain. Why? Why? I have never said. I've never said. The original question is, what form is Krishna in now? Uh. Hmm. Oh, his question was? That is not correct. Krishna, as, as we have got distinction between the body and the soul, Krishna has no such distinction. Krishna is completely soul. And if we think that Krishna is like us, that is uh, forbidden. Abhijananti mālamūrha tano mālasim tano vās. Because Krishna comes before us just like a human being, if we think that he is also like me, then we are ass. Krishna does not change his days. No. Otherwise Krishna could not say that Millions and millions of years ago, I spoke this philosophy to the sun God. Because, because we change our dress, we forget what I was, what you were in your past life, because you have changed the dress. The that is that is that is described we are describing. Najayate Nam Yate. Soul is never born, soul never dies, soul is eternal, nitta sasata, nahanate hanamani sarire, even after the destruction of this body, the soul is not destroyed. This these are the education. In terms of knowing the thing, you are just describing the qualities of the soul. You can say mango, mango is very sweet, color is like this. Mm-hmm. There is a difference to taste the mango. Mm-hmm. So I want to like the soul, what is the thought experience? There is mango, but you have no eyes to see it. That is the difference. Soul is there. Ah, that's why we have begun our instruction. Dehi nas means jatha dehi. There is dehi. There is the soul within this body. Krishna says, so you have to accept Krishna's authority. You cannot see the soul. That does not mean there is no soul. Your, what is the value of your eyes? You cannot see so many things. Because you cannot see the soul, it does not mean there is no soul. We have to accept the authority. Huh? Because your eyes are imperfect. Huh? Because there is a proof. As soon as the soul is gone, you are dead body. That is the proof. But you must be qualified to know. Ah, that that I have already explained. That you must become tadviddhi panipate na paripasne na sivaya. You must approach to a person who knows by surrender, not by challenge. You cannot know about soul and God by this challenging spirit. You have to become a submissive. Submissive. You have to accept a spiritual master who knows. Then you know. It is not that in a meeting by challenging you can know. No, that is not possible. How to get that master That you have to search out. If you are fortunate, you will get. Daita or Daita, that we are explaining. Yes, Daita and Adaita. 
just like this finger is, is my finger. So it is part of this body. You can, you can say this finger is also body, but at the same time the finger is not the body. Is it clear? You cannot say this finger is the whole body, but at the same time you can say, yes, finger is body. If you say, ah, this is my body, there is no wrong, because finger is also part of the body. But if you say that the finger is body, that is also wrong. This is Daitari. It is simultaneously one and different. Similarly, the soul and the Supreme Lord equal in quality. The Krishna says, Mamai Vansa, the small particle of gold is gold. That is Advaita. You cannot say, because it is small particle of gold, you cannot say it is iron. It is gold. That is Advaita. Uh, but the gold mind and the gold earring, that is different. You cannot say the gold earring is as good as the gold mine. That is the itself. So in this way, as so far our spiritual existence is concerned, we are one. Uh, but so far our energies are concerned, that is different. That is the itself. You have no such big energy as God has. In that sense you are different. 